Thank you, and thank you for being a cooperator with us. Yes, sir. Which one moves it forward? Out in this one right there. And that's a pointer. All right. All right, folks. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to come and do this. Uh, Brendan said for me to tell a little bit about the farm. I'm John Thomas and got a farm in Madison County. Uh, I worked for Ag Credit for 31 years, retired about seven years ago. Farmed all my life, but I'm farming full time now, I'm trying to keep up with some grandkids too, so that's fun. But anyway, uh, Brandon come to me. Um, I've been. 2016 was I interested and I said I'm interested in talking so Joe and Chris and I think Ray was down there they come down and kind of explain to me what they were looking at doing we talked there and they kind of told me what we was going to do and then we headed down to the field that I thought maybe would work for them and we looked at it and of course they kind of told us up front anybody can raise this on crop ground and corn ground and they were kind of looking for a poor farm so we went and looked, and they come out and they say, just a work. <laughs> so I've kind of wrote them about that for a while. But um, uh, I'm, a, I'm a cow calf producer, got about 100 cows. I do a crossbreeding program. I got Herefords and South Devons, and I'm crossing that cross now with Charolais, and I'm selling those. Um, and um, when we, like I said, my farm is. Is I can get enough ground for silage. I, I do raise silage, so I get a lot of my forage for my cows off of my silage. I don't have to have as much hay. I have got some rented pastures, but uh, I do try to rotate graze pretty good. The one place this was on, there's like 56 acres in this, and I've got it cut into four paddocks. So over the years, I've put up electric fence and this type of things and rotate. So we just took one of those out. And I had some concerns, can I do without this 10 acres if we have a dry year, but it worked out fine. Um, now, okay, this is the list of there, and I'll kind of get this, we'll just get into the slides. Uh, of course, this was uh, July the 13th, uh, we did our first spray. I did graze it pretty hard and probably clipped it two or three times, I don't know, Brandon, uh, how many times we clipped it, but we tried to keep the seed head off of it. Uh, we sprayed it there on, on July the 13th, and then we come back with uh, two quarts again on September the 6th um, and, and sprayed it again. Uh, we did do our soil test and things uh, before and got the fertilized on. I, it was on that one sheet, 220 pounds, wasn't too much fertilized. Lime was okay, but we went right by the soil test. What it said to do is what we put on it. Uh, kind of sore. I was getting into silage about this time, and I told Brandon I've been to all these meetings and soil depth on seeding, soil depth on seeding. That's all I've heard. So I said, Brandon, I've got a chopped silage tractor and seeder sitting there. Hop to it. So Brandon did come down and he seeded this pasture for me. And that way, when we got into one of these things, if it failed, they'd ask me how deep I sowed it. I didn't. I wouldn't have to answer that question. I'd just say, Ask Brandon. So. Uh, but he did so that we did cross, uh, we went around it and then he also crossed it. He spent most of a day down there seeding this, so uh, we got that done on September the 9th. This was uh, the surface it looked like that we were going into on, on the 9th. Um, and you can see it's, it's pretty clean. And I missed some, of course, I don't know how you are spraying, but I always miss some areas. Uh, October the 7th, this is about a month after the planting, and if I'm not mistaken, about a week to 10 days after we planted this, we got like an inch rain. And other than that, till about up into November, we didn't get any rain that year. But you, I, I get nervous, but you couldn't see anything from the side, but you could finally get down and look down the row, and I say, I've got something. So it, it come on there pretty good with no more water than we had. Uh, this was like October the 31st, um, so it was coming along pretty good. I didn't know if it was going to make it, but Joe and Chris and Ray and some of them come down and say, we're, we're okay, so it looked all right. This was on November the 17th, uh, starting to cover the ground there pretty good. And this feed was pretty weedy when, we, when I sprayed it down, this type stuff. There's on March the 27th, 
that's coming along. Then we come in in April and apply 150 pounds of uh, urea on it, and that's when you really saw it starting to take shape. Come in there, it was on April the 28th. I went in and cut it and got the picture. You can see the, the stand we got there and the height we got on it. Uh, and that's three weeks after we cut it for hay. Uh, it, it come back real good and it was, of course, April, it was pretty wet. Uh, I cut it, I knew it needed to come off. They said it should have been off there a little earlier and I got it. I thought it was dry, but then the time I rolled it and got it moved down, it was it's plenty heavy. I'm feeding it out right now. It might be a little mold on it, but anyway, I got uh, 26 rows of five by fives off the 10 acre field at first cutting and the only cutting. Then on May the 26th, uh, I had some fall calves and these were out of a Cavanese bull and Brandon and I, we weighed them and we was gonna do some numbers and we turned eight calves on the 10 acres and you couldn't tell they'd been out there. So we finally put the other eight calves that we put on the dirty fescue in with them and you still couldn't tell it. Market looked pretty good. I sold them, started grazing it with cows. So, uh, but that's, I probably had as much trouble keeping it grazed down. Of course, I was trying to protect it pretty well and I didn't want to graze it too hard, but um, uh, they, it, it, it did real well. Uh, and you can tell right across the field over here, we had a pasture that had been managed the same way as, as we as, as this pasture and Margaret came down two or three times and checked this field and checked the field just across, across the hollow there to it. And you can see the alkaloids in the, in the Kentucky 31 there. So those are up in the things that's probably causing me some problems. Um, and that's it. Anybody got any questions? Or may hold that to last, Jimmy? I got off, no, no, I pulled off pretty far and I've got some, I, did, I never did graze it down real close last year. This year, we'll see how it stands up. <laughs> but this is in a field that my cattle don't have to stay in all the time, so I can open the gate, put them in a week, move them out pretty good. It's not like they're going through or, or anything like that. But I would just say that Ray and Jimmy and Joe and Bowden and uh, Chris all were, sometimes they get to talking over my head, but I'd bring them back down and they'd explain it to me. Uh, I, they kept talking about alkalo, I mean, uh, tillers this and tillers that, and I finally had them explain a little bit to me about tillers. But, you know, I plan on using it some more. Would I do more? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, I, I guess my thinking is I'm a, a little slow to do something, so I'll go through this year and see how it goes through the summer and the droughts, and if I put a little more pressure on it and this type stuff, uh, and, and I'm not even gonna put any clover in it this spring, I'll probably wait till the next year before I go with clover to see whether my weeds come back or not. Any other questions? All right, thank you. I'll get one. Well, we put eight on 10, and then I come in with 16 on 10, and then I had like 26 cows or something that I would turn, and actually in the middle they come down one time, I put one electric fence through it, so I've got that 10 acres cut into two fives. I would put them over on that side a while and bring them over this side a while, but I never did graze it down too close. I, like I said, I catch the cows out and I I just shut the gate and keep them out. So I want I didn't want to make a mistake on it the first year and somebody said, well you grazed it too close. So I didn't graze it too hard this last year, but it but it just got up and kind of would mad over. So I, I had to get it off there. They thought we gone too long on it one time. Any other questions? All right. Okay, let's keep John.